Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Wendy Singa and today we're going to be diving under the Salik. So in case you don't know what the Salik is, the Salik is an electronic toll gate system in Dubai launched by the Roads and Transport Authority on the 1st of July 2007 to help improve traffic flow on the major roads in Dubai. So the SOLIC system is based on radio frequency identification technology or RFIT and automatically deduct deducting a fee when a toll gate is passed using the machine readable sticker fixed to a vehicle's front windshield. So example if you have this sticker on your car's front windshield then when you go under the SOLIC it's going to take a fee. That means even motorists in Dubai do not have to stop or even slow down when passing to, to a select toll gate because it will automatically take money. So it takes a fixed charge of EAD, 5 dirham and 25 fills including tax which is applicable for each select passing. And the total cost of a select tag purchased at one of the Salik authorized sales agents is 100 dirham. This includes 50 AD Salik tag, 50 AD for the prepaid toll balance added to the customer's Salik account upon tag activation. So yes, you need to buy the tag and keep it in your vehicle if you're in Dubai passing under a Salik. If you don't have the Salik though, then you have a period of 10 working days from the date and the time of your first trip to Salik Gate to purchase and install a Salik tag on your vehicle. Other otherwise, violations will occur. Like, for example, if you cross the toll gate without a Salik tag in your vehicle, or if you don't have sufficient funds in your Salik account, like you don't have enough money to go to the Salik, then you'll be charged a fine. And the fine for driving a vehicle without a select tag is 100 dirham for the first trip, 200 for the second trip, and 400 for the subsequent trips. The minimum balance in your select account should be 50 dirham. And by the way, guys, um, the Dubai select is free on Friday and on public holidays. It takes no money. Here's some facts on Salik that you may or may have not have known. On an average day, around 450,000 vehicles pass through Dubai from other Emirates. During morning or showers, Dubai welcomes around 40,000 vehicles. In 2014, there were about 1.4 million registered cars in Dubai. At 8.2%, this car registration rate is one of the highest in the world. Here are some do's and don'ts when using Salik. Never use a Salik tag that belongs to another vehicle. You should use the Salik tag assigned to the vehicle you are driving, as indicated on the application. Do not move the same tag on another vehicle. If the registered mobile number changes, the authorities should be informed. Remember, the select tag should be bought and placed on the vehicle's windshield within the first 10 working days of using it. In case of insufficient funds, ensure the select account is recharged, recharged within 5 working days. Here are some types of vehicles that are exempted from paying select toll fees. A police vehicle, an ambulance, a military vehicle, LTA public bus, a school bus, a college bus, and vehicles registered under the determined ones category. There are currently eight Salik gates operational in Dubai. The Al Gahud Bridge Salik gate, the Al Mamza South Salik gate, another Al Mamza South Salik gate, Al Safa, Al Basha, Al Maktoum, Airport Tunnel gate, and Jebel Ali. Here are some more fun facts about Salik. 540 cars per 1,000 people. Dubai's vehicle density. Dubai's population is 2.9 million as of January 2018. 740,000 registered cars in Dubai in 2006.
like you do sometimes Seeing eyes of mine Love, love, love I wanna be strong, strong We're doing wrong, wrong, wrong But I'll try and to fix it Love, love, love I wanna be strong, strong We're doing wrong, wrong, wrong But I'll change it Inside of me, in this sense that I can look at you with love, seeing all that I can learn. Can you stay and I will grow?